Welcome back to episode 24 of the Fractured Butthole. So in the last episode, I was trying to figure out if I actually had to spend six hours in the game to advance. But uh, I was stupid and realized that all you had to do was go closer to the fence. And Morgan Freeman would start talking to me. So, without further ado, let's do this. You know, kid, you still have yet to tap the full potential of your time-bending hands. Something that could enhance your ability could possibly make time pass more quickly. You see that AC fan over there? Right there, behind you. Over by the gate. On the left side, you can't miss it. If you fart into that fan, the gas will filter it through the expansion valve, mixing it with the pressurized refrigerant inside the condenser cores. Don't question if that makes any sense, kid. Just fire it. Go on. I'll fire it up for you right now. I also, um... I found a shit ton of yaoi posters. I don't remember exactly how many. I couldn't find any of his cats, but, uh... We are gonna do this after I, uh, show you some other stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna craft this shit real quick. Oh yeah, I did a goth mission, so I'm friends with the goth kids now. It's pretty fun. This is all to advance my, uh... Shit, I'll show you in a minute. It's good to have all your shit, just in case. Uh... Make one of these, and then a Supreme Taco. Even though I'll never need that shit still, it's good to have. Uh. Oh, this. Because it gives me, uh, gain health equally to your Coonstagram follow account. What? The? Yeah, it's pretty good. Team members gain health equal to it. Whatever that is. Uh, my Instagram account has... Oh, shit. Hundred and nineteen followers. Followers is two thousand, but I doubt that's right. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! <laughs> That's awesome. Holy shit, dude! What the hell just happened? Oh, dude, it smells like hot meat out here. Well, it looks like it's nighttime. Everyone regroup. Hi, we're here for the tour. Ah, yes, come in. That's sweet. I'm gonna get some free loot. Fuck you guys. Hopefully find a Yowie poster. That'd be nice. Oh, that's where Cartman died, right? The tree. I'm just like exploring while they're climbing the mountain. There's some loot over here too. <laughs> Young people interested in genetic engineering, huh? Wonderful, please come in. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more. Hello, sir. My, my, there's a lot of you. Come on! Well, I'm so pleased that you children are interested in genetic engineering. Genetic science began as a simple question. Can a monkey be made to have four asses instead of one? The answer was yes. And now we've been able to give more asses to pigs, horses, everything you can imagine. Yes, little boy. How did that help? Oh, you're one of the cynics, huh? Well, meet me over here for the tour and I'll show you how. Come on, don't be shy. We don't want to miss the four ass gorilla feeding. That was weird. Holy shit. 
There better be some yaoi shit here. Oh, crap, they locked us out. All the release forms, right? Our cages are made from the strongest breakable glass on the market. To see you youngsters taking an interest in science. Kind of short for our test subject volunteer program. How about this? A mandrill, but with a rainbow of acids. Can we do that? You gotta be honest. Some of the test subjects freak me out. Do you think we should add more security here? Just follow standard insertion procedures and everything will be fine. Why does he allow tours in? I don't know why. Seeing such a beautiful string of nucleotides? Why, even the chromosomes have tiny extra masses. Fascinating. Nice to see you youngsters taking an interest in science. How about this? A mandrill, but with a rainbow of acids. Can we do that? Interesting. Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow larger tomatoes, onions, cucumbers. Fruits and vegetables with more asses means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. Don't play God, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Another benefit of genetic science, of course, is combining animals. Like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. You see, genetic engineering is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering what ever happened to him. Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh, jeez, I think that was us. So, you're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Well, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Oh, fuck. Well, here we are. The top floor of the building and the end of our tour. What are these? These horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders and make them stronger and crazier. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? Oh, right over this way. A wealthy benefactor named Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. Problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, there's nothing to worry about. This entire facility has a very complex security grid. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pals? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on, talk. Guys? Guys, it's me, the king. Will you knock it off? Listen to me. Don't make any deals with this piece of garbage. He's an animal. Ah! That's enough out of you, king. You've been a real pain in my ass, new kid. You should have known not to mess with Mitch Connor. Where the fuck are you? Mr. Connor, if you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, right, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, Freedom Pass.
We got a boss battle. Uh. Present. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, my hair and my clothes are from uh, the goth kids. So you can thank me for them for that. Day. Oh, fuck. Pew! Oops, I think I just did something bad to the generator. Amazing. Your single asses beat their many asses. It just doesn't add up. <laughs> I'm so close, are you kidding me? Poor creatures. We must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. This one will definitely make the door open. You know, not every youngster your age gets a first-hand science experience like this one. Oh, don't worry. We don't. Mutant sixth graders are on the loose. This was definitely not supposed to happen. <laughs> Okay, we'll be safe in the tour tram. Oh, the tour tram is offline. Somebody's gonna have to get to the CPU and hit the override switch. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So someone <laughs> walk down to the third level and flip the switch? One, two, three, not it, not it, not, not it, it, not it, not it. Not it. <laughs> not it. Sorry, kid, but it really should be you anyway. Yeah, if you think about it, this is all kind of your fault. <laughs> That's great. That's not gross. I put the stairs behind that portal door, but to open the door, you're gonna need power. The whole point of stairs is not to need electricity. Get that generator powered up, and the access to the stairs will open. This looks like fun. Fun, fun, fun for all. Here we go into the town. Ah, yeah. oh, shit.
Yes, it is. Fun. Okay, you should be coming to my dead son now. Just keep heading west. Fuck. Oh, he did, huh? Lost battle coming up. Easy. Shit. Let's try classy.
level up, bitch. That's it. He's cleared the way. The CPU should be right through that door, kid. We'll come down and join you. New kid, thank God. Shit. What are you doing? Connor brought me here, human cat. Sick son of a bitch. Uh, you shut up, Kim. Soon this town will be rid of you and all the Kim friends. We're freedom pals, fat ass. We know what you're doing, Eric. Putting cat urine into people's drugs and alcohol to make them crazy. We want to know why. Yeah, why, you sick piece of... Uh, do I really have to spell it out, Kim? This city is sick. We both know it. There's only one time of year when this town is the way it should be. On Christmas. So I join the Chamber of Commerce and use them to unleash my master plan. Escalate crime in the city, blame crime on mayor, run for mayor, get tons of followers, clone new kid into a genetic mutant, win election, make every day Christmas. What do you think? Pretty sweet plan, right? Dude, quick! Take a selfie! It's almost a shame that no one will ever know how perfectly my plan works. Dude, you've gone too far this time. Nobody's gonna let you be mayor! Oh no, I've got all the new kid's followers. Every last one of them is now following me! Gee, that was smart. Eric, I know that Christmas every day sounds like fun, but it really wouldn't be. Fuck you, Dr. Timothy. If you guys don't mind, I've got an election. Nah, nah, nah. God damn it! Oh, there goes the main CPU. Darn it, why did I put that thing on a mobilized trap door? Why wouldn't you? I'm afraid now someone will have to go clear to the ground level and call for the tour tram from there. All right, fine. Hurry up, new kid. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, new kid. Stop wasting time. Oh, I go back. There's cool stuff. Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't have to fight them. Feels bad, man.
Oh, another boss battle. That's great. Oh, looks like all the mutated animals have broken loose. Welp. Fuck. Ooh. Should be easy. Be careful of the grates. I've designed them to be removable in case anything wanted to attack people from below. Oh, fuck. Soundproofing the walls in here so that no one could hear screams was not cheap, let me tell you. I'll crush you, twerps. Who are you gonna call? That's right. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, in the next episode, we will be uh, getting the hell out of this place somehow. Um, yeah, I got a kind of a lot of editing. It's 52 minutes, not that bad, but uh, there's a lot of boss battles and stuff I can cut some shit out of. But uh, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.